Okay guys and gals, we're going to try a little test today with some old technology and some cutting edge, latest and greatest technology. We have two seven acre plots of hay we're going to mow, one with auto steer and one without. Let's check out our gear. We have a 1982 John Deere 4240, great tractor in its day. We have an FC 243 Coon mower. It's only got about an eight foot cut, so steering every pass matters. You don't want to have a whole lot of overlap with a little machine. If you're throwing to the cab, we have an AutoTrack 200 steering kit, universal. It works really good for your older tractors that you can't retrofit anything newer on. Over here we have a 2019 model generation four 4240 display and then up on the roof we have the John, the John Deere 6000 GPS receiver so here in a little bit we're going to give it a test and we're going to see how it performs we're going to do seven acres with auto steer and we're going to time it we're going to count how many passes it took us to complete that seven acres and then we're going to do seven acres old school steering pass to pass we'll see how we do you so to complete our test here we want to make sure that both parties have an equal comparison so we went to my John Deere Operations Center and we created in the land manager two identical seven acre fields interior boundaries is what we actually built for the main field that's 18.5 acres if you go here and you want to build interior boundaries you select the field that you're working with within the land manager and you hit the plus symbol boundary draw a new next and then you can go up here and choose from multiple tools we usually use the draw polygon tool to make our two identical seven acre boundaries okay we're back here's what we're going to do we're going to start our seven acres with the auto steer we're going to just get right to it and we're going to start the time folks I'll take my time because i think we're going to do all right but here we go. We're going to start an AB line. We have to first end the adaptive curve we were using for the headlands. We're going to set track. New track. We're going to do an AB curve. This field isn't perfectly straight, but it's close. Okay. We're going to start recording. Let's make our first pass. curve and we're off to it 
do it.